Hi, and welcome back to Mountain Aromatics. I am continuing my series on the beginner's kit from creatingperfume.com. So I have six more today that I would like to share with you and go over. The first one is Frugere Accord. The um, Frugere Accord is a, it's, my understanding is that it's French and it is made up of two primary certain ingredients that will need to go in it in order to make it a true frigere and that is oak moss and lavender. Now that's not all that's in it. It's way more complex than that but you have those two in there that are um, the primary things that will need to be in a frigere. This is I think a very this is, of course, my opinion, but a very clean, masculine, really sophisticated aroma. You can, I think, if you wanted to, you could use this by itself, um, just as a pure, pure frugere. Um, but it definitely, it's an accord, so it can go in a formula with a myriad of different other things. Um, I'm just thinking of a couple other things in my head that it might go well with um, dihydromersinol, just that citrus. Um, that would be pretty nice with this. A number of other citruses, a little bit more lavender, and then some wood. That would be awesome to come up with a, a formula with this. It's just very clean. Um, you could absolutely make a feminine formula with this. You could totally take it in a different direction, especially because there's the lavender in here. You could take off with the florals with this. It's really, really nice. It's beautiful. Um, I, I guess the other thing I would say is this is really, I think it's very versatile because of where it is. It's not too heavy on the masculine um, or too heavy on that um, um, oak moss or moss. So next one is um, Exaltide Total. I believe there's an Exaltide. This is the Exaltide Total. They are different. So this one is um, a little bit more um, ozone, cottony, mm, think fresh laundry. It is a, um, a musk but it's a fresh musk. It is, it, it really is um, deep. It has some depth to it. And it is, to me, it, it is really well-rounded. Um, the other thing that it, it does is on the skin, it gives that sensual skin feeling um, or aroma and not feeling, but aroma on the skin. And <clears throat> this, I think, why I like it, it, it plays well with people who are new to the musk and working with the musk, because the musk, <laughs> to me, is a, a whole nother animal uh, that's good, but I think it's just, again, on my last video, I think I said it's like a wide um, variety of musk. And there's some that are really light, and there's some that are just really super strong. And I think it may take me a little while to get used to knowing the material and how to use it effectively. This one, however, I think you're not going to have a problem with. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's fresh, clean but it has a lot of depth to it and really nice so work with it and tell me what you think the next one is fructolate this is a ferminish it's like the name says it's fruit it is to me it's the dark fruit and um let's see there is the different berries that are in here 
I apologize. Of course, if I'm going to do a video, it will happen. Anyway, so the berries, raspberry, that kind of stuff. I detect a little bit of apple in here as well. So it's not just dark fruit. It's, I think, a mixture of fruits. And it is a, um, a clear white uh, water consistency to this. It is really long lasting. It is 48 hours on the test strip. This is a heart note or the middle of the note. So this can be a big part of your um, fragrance or your formula. Uh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back really quick. So the Exaltide total, it is 700 hours. It is restricted at 2.5%. Um, as of today, so as we usually say, you need to, these restriction numbers and percentages can change, so you need to recheck with those, but as of today, it is restricted to 2.5%. Um, and let's see, we'll go to the next one. Ethyl linalool. So I've talked about linalool on a different video where linalool is the molecule that has really relaxate, relaxing properties to it. It's um, found in hoe wood, it's found in sweet marjoram, it's found in lavender, and here we go with the ethyl linalool. This is floral fresh, really, really bright, bright floral um, fresh, has a water consistency to it. Um, it is a little bit like bergamot. Um, the cool thing about this is you can use this in your florals, you can use this with your wood, you can use this with, um, I, I'm not sure what you could not use this with. It's really pretty versatile and I really like it, but super light, super bright. Um, when I say floral, I don't mean like a specific flower or something like that. It's just sort of like an overall florally smell to it. It's really, and I think that's what makes it so versatile. It's really, really nice. It's not going to take over any type of fragrance or anything like that. It is 12 hours on the test strip and it is a top note. And the next one is really cool. It is, oh, it's really neat. It's very, very different. Methyl 5 Fur for all. I know it sounds kind of funny, but um, this is one hour on the test strip and it is a top note, but it is a gourmand. Think of food. Woo, it smells really good. It is the first thing I get is almond. Really beautiful, but a, a, a little bit of a toasted almond then it changes like into like right after that burnt caramel um, not like black burnt caramel but like a, a toasted or burnt caramel where it's um, nutty roasted aroma um, definitely the almond is still there so it's not, maybe this will help. It's not like a sweet candy caramel, caramel, however you say it. It's not like a sweet, it's more of the toasted, the burnt caramel. That's a little bit more of what it is with almond. It's really beautiful. That's awesome. That's really nice. This also has a a water consistency to it. Really nice. That'll be a fun one to play with and do some really cool and different types of formulas with. It'll be fun. The last one is Olibanum or Frankincense. 
frankincense is a resin. They'll take that resin and they will, you can do a number of things with it. You can have a frankincense absolute, frankincense CO2, and frankincense essential oil steam distilled, and that's what this is. It's the frankincense steam distilled. This is a little bit thicker than water, just a little bit thicker than water. Um, you can get other frankincense. There's some other frankincense that are a tiny bit thicker than this. It is a resin. The first thing I get is like, yes, this is a resin. Um, somehow, I use this a lot. I really use it a lot. It gives, I don't know how it does it, but somehow it gives a sweetness to formulas. And again, not a candy sweetness, but it's some type of sweetness to it. And it's not really sweet. That's what's just so interesting about this. So I did not grow up Catholic, but when a lot of people smell this, they think of the Catholic Church because they will burn the frankincense, the incense, the resin. They will burn that in the Catholic Church in the rituals pretty often. And so it is definitely a trigger for some people, like or like remembering. Um, not necessarily a trigger in a bad way, but just like remembering, oh yeah, that it takes them back to the Catholic Church days or even they may still be going. But it, it definitely, you can tell this is, when I say <clears throat> a tree, I don't mean it smells like wood. I mean, like, it's the resin, so it's sappy. It's clean, clean sappy, so don't think a dirty sappy, because it could. I think it could be easy to kind of go there and think it's kind of like a dirty sappy smell. It's absolutely beautiful, clean, 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 clean smell. To me, it is a modifier in that it makes everything really blossom and shine. That's what this does to formulas. Beautiful in florals, beautiful in woods. It just does crazy beautiful things to wood. It does crazy beautiful things to florals. It does crazy beautiful things to citruses. I've done it all. It's really, it's it's super nice. Really nice when you need to um, kind of brighten something up or um, make it bloom a little bit more. All the different aromas in your form formula to kind of bloom more. This is a great one. It's, it's one of my favorites. It's really beautiful. I will tell you, in fact, as well, that this is pretty good for respiratory stuff. So um, you can have a little bit on your chest with a carrier oil or put a little bit in your aromatherapy nebulizer and breathe that in and it will open up the respiratory system. It's really good for that. So I hope this was helpful and I will definitely see you on the next video. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe if you haven't. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you on the next video. I hope you have a beautiful day.